How was your day, Matthew Barney? It, it was pretty good. I did some work on the last installment of my uh, pre-master series, and um, I had to call my mom. Your mom? Nice. Yeah. Where, where is she? Where, where are you from? She actually lives in New York, um, oh. but I'm from Boise. Idaho is pretty standard childhood. I just played like football in high school and stuff like that. Awesome. Yeah. How old are you? I'm 41. Uh, how old are you? I'm 43. Um, okay, cool. Yeah. So, what's your sign? Uh, I'm an Aries. Yes, an Aries? That's cool. I'm a Scorpion. A Scorpio? Oh, really? Yeah. I, I actually uh, was reading something the other day that said that Scorpios and Aries had a really like strong sexual connection. Really? Yeah. Matthew Barney. That's actually really important to me. I, I do a lot with sexuality and gender in my work. Really? So yeah. what kind of art do you do? What? Um, I'm actually a, an interdisciplinary artist. I, what does that mean? I, I work in multiple media. I, I make sculpture and performance and film and uh, photography sometimes. Yeah, wow. just all sorts of stuff, really. That's cool. Yeah, like, like for instance, uh, what I'm working on now, the pre-master cycle, um, I mean, it's a film by, in five parts, but, you know, I, I made all the sculptures to go along in it, and um, mm -hmm. while I'm filming it, um, I'm also taking photographs, and uh, I, I wrote and directed the whole thing. It sounds like a so, lot of work, and like a lot of people to get involved. Um, yeah, I mean, it kind of is, but I like to work, you know, with the, just the people around me, people I know. I guess you could say it's kind of like Duchamp's ready names, you know, but like the people become the ready name, those objects, the found objects. Yeah. yeah, that makes a lot of sense. I can see how he could be an influence. In who else, who else do you like? Um, well, I, I was really into Richard Serra for a long time, especially in school. Mm -hmm. I really love Richard Serra. Yeah, um, like his, his, the piece where he throws the, the molten lead, that's, that was one of the first pieces that like really spoke to me. Why um, did that speak to you? You know, I really liked the concentration on the process, and like while I was in school I did a lot of work. Um, that dealt with more with the process. Like for instance, I would I would come up with a, a process that would put a restraint on my on my body, but I, I was looking to make a drawing, so I would go through this this task to make a drawing. It's really it was more about you like know, really elaborate. Yeah, it was more about the process than the finished product. Most people just disregarded the drawing completely actually. So hmm. it's really interesting. Yeah, I try. I, I try my best to make it interesting. Who else do you like? Um, I was into Houdini for a while. I, I know that sounds kind of silly, but I was really into this like self-made spectacle and celebrity mm -hmm. that he like changed himself into. Um, I don't know. That's just always been really interesting and he makes this spectacle and all these ridiculous mm -hmm. performances but then he doesn't really like to talk about it. Yeah, um, he's always really secretive. Yeah, yeah, I think that's really admirable. Do you not like to talk about your work, your work either that much? Am I like, I'm sorry, am I like really no, no, no. like um, pulling your teeth here? I'm no, sorry. I mean, if it's a personal um, situation then I'm, I'm totally okay with it. Mm -hmm. um, it's it definitely if it's someone that I like and want them to get to know me. Mm -hmm. But um, but interviews can be a little bit painful sometimes. Yeah. You know. Oh, I completely understand. I've beat up two members of the press already. I really wow. hate. That's yeah. really hot. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, Matthew Barney. No problem. Yeah. Um. So you said something about crew master. What is what is that exactly? Well, it's or what? It's the muscles that that bring the balls in and out, basically. Balls. So, you know, it has a lot to do with masculinity and um, and also like structure and, uh, and process and cycles and stuff. That's a drop that glass. <laughs> okay.
would really not be cool. Yeah, your dress is so pretty and white. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> no problem. Your head feathers and your uh, thing coming out of your mouth are really pretty too, Matthew. Yes. What is? Does that have to do something with your piece? Um. Uh, yeah. Well, I came straight here from work, and um, the last installment is is three Queen Master three, mm -hmm. and this is just one of the costumes. Um, and one of the many elaborate, intense costumes that uh, that I'm, I'm putting into the series. This one is a reference to like um, Irish ritual. There's a lot of like talk about rituals in my work, mm -hmm. um, but I don't know. In a nutshell, this has to do with Irish traditions and stuff. That's cool. Yeah. Were you by any chance filming at the Guggenheim? Um, it's yeah, actually, I thought I saw something or read something about it. Yeah, um, it's just a small part of the whole series. Mm -hmm. It's uh, taking eight years to make this series. Wow, that's so But um, it's just a small part. It's called the Order, which basically in the Order, you know, it kind of kind of wraps up the whole series, really. Cool. Yeah, it it's a small chunk, but if you if you watch just this small chunk, you can kind of get an idea for. who covered um, everything in Vaseline? Uh, yeah, I'm really into Vaseline. What is Vaseline? Uh, well, there's a lot of um, ejaculatory motifs in my work. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know, it's just another like reference to masculinity. And stuff. I get it. So like everything we use is kind of like a symbol for something else? Yeah, um, uh, there's been a lot of comparisons of surrealism to my work, that I pull that characteristic from surrealism, um, symbolism, mm -hmm. stuff like that. So like on the surface, it seems like it doesn't really mean anything, yeah. but it really does. Yeah, I get written yeah. off a lot for just being ridiculous, but it's all really meaningful and I put a lot of thought into it. That's cool. Yeah. That's cool. Um, so, I don't know, I've, like, seen your name a lot of places and stuff, like, I don't know, um, how, yeah, I mean, you're, like, pretty famous, Matthew Barney, like, yeah, thanks I'm for Yeah, I'm famous, I mean, so are you, your music's great. Thanks. But, um, do you think that, who, who are the well, people that are making you so famous, or, like, I mean... I know the people who like my music and stuff, you know, but who are the people who like your stuff? It seems like, well, I mean, I, it's such a f small following that um, these both of us. Idealistically, what I would like to think is that, especially with this Cree Master, it's going to be shown in, like, theaters. Like, just like, a, I mean, it's a film to be shown in theaters. Alternative theaters, but still theaters. And, um, Hopefully that will bring in a, a broader audience because they can view it just like you would a film mm -hmm. and bring in a younger audience and get some younger people to start thinking about art. It makes sense. A lot of people are a lot more comfortable going to see a movie than going to a museum. But, a lot yeah. of people don't have pre preconceived notions about what, right. you know. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm hoping for. That sounds really cool. So, um, so what about you? Well, you know, I'm Bjork. That's about it. 